Well, welcome to Piney Creek Farm. I'm Herman Dietering, and this is the end product which I'm aiming for in my training program. Woo! Yeah. There's so many advantages. I could take the entire time of this video to list them for you, but certainly being able to handle them uh, with a minimum amount of labor, uh, being much safer around them, uh, not getting them exercised and uh, stressed out, because as we know and as has been shown, uh, stress is probably the most the worst enemy of cattle. We human beings are predators and these animals are prey and they know in their DNA to avoid us. And they do that unless they learn otherwise, unless they learn that we're not gonna hurt them. So the trick is not to act in a manner of a predator because if a predator is not on the hunt, uh, prey animals don't mind them being around but it's when you act in an aggressive way or too assertively to get something done that they sense that you are a predator and they don't want to be around you. So that's the goal of my work with them, is to teach them that they will be okay with humans so long as we act in a respectful manner of their nature. We try to change them from wanting to be away from us to wanting to be with us and my two-week program so far over the last uh, eight years, I think, has succeeded in doing this. Well, I've moved the heifers and uh, a couple of bulls here, uh, the weanlings, into the round pen uh, because for me, this is where it all started. I started uh, working with the cattle after I'd been involved in natural horsemanship and the techniques of natural horsemanship, which involve a lot of work in a round pen. My attitude is one of calmness and acceptance of what they want to do, but I'm shaping it, I'm controlling their flight so that they have to deal with my pressure. And uh, they don't like to move that much. So when they learn that by standing still, and looking at me, they will be able to rest. That comes something that they will do more and more. Okay, I'm gonna move them again in the same direction. Putting a little pressure. Those are flightier, this one is, no, I don't want her to go that way, so I'm going to step over here and ask her to turn the other way. I'm dropping back letting her know that that's what I want. Uh, I may look away, I may turn sideways, approach her very slowly, putting the pressure on, taking the pressure off. Simply by moving forward here, it puts pressure on her, but I block her movement there. She doesn't want to run into it. She may let me up here don't want to move too fast. This is the way it's done with horses too. Look, she's reaching out to me. That's just what I want. I drop all pressure off. She moves off calmly. That is exactly what I wanted to show you. This uh, next series of exercises, two or three exercises, is uh, intended to get these animals comfortable in tighter and tighter quarters. Uh, it's, it's a matter of a combination of the uh, size of the pen and also their speed of movement. So as I drive them, uh, they, I hope, will move from running past me to walking past me. That's what I would like to achieve uh, in this area here, which is in some places uh, about 17 feet wide. And uh, I will ask them to come by me as I'm facing them uh, on both sides of them. And then we'll move to uh, smaller quarters and then on down to the squeeze chute where they will be actually confined in a very uh, tight quarters. So, 
Uh, I'm trying to get them to uh, move calmly uh, at whatever speed they're moving. They can move calmly at a trot or they can be escaping at a trot. So uh, I'm looking for the quality of their movement uh, as well as the speed of their movement. So I have to put a little more pressure on them. They don't like movement like this, so they'd like to move away from it. There we go. There we go. And also, this builds confidence in them that I'm not going to ask them to do something that gets them in trouble. Uh, they're facing their fear, and they're going through it. And uh, nothing bad happens. So uh, that's all to the good. That's what we're working. And then we escalate it by making this space a little bit tighter and tighter. So let me move it by again. They're ready to come in this direction. And so I almost have to just try and slow them down this way rather than push them slow. And when I back, I slow them down. If I move into them, I speed them up. I need to speed her up so I step into her and I step back to let that one go by. Now this is pretty good. I'm, I'm very pleased with that, the way that animal passed me. This exercise uh, will involve uh, sending the cattle through this work chute uh, as calmly as possible. Uh, and it's a little different than the other exercises we've been doing in that uh, I could have substituted several others simply to get them used to yielding to pressure um, or where I would be working back and forth across the, flight, the line of the flight zone. But here, this is something they're going to have to deal with for the rest of their lives. And it's very important that their early and first and second and third experiences uh, not be frightening to them. And once they go through this in a calm manner, the shoot will always be regarded as something that is not only tolerable, but they've decided is not uh, going to hurt them. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, any discomfort they feel will be blamed on something other than the shoot. So I'm going to move them around now and let's see how they come through this. Well, these are the same animals that you saw about three weeks ago. And whereas then they were banging into these panels and trying to get out, uh, right now they're vying for my attention. Uh, you've seen the exercises I put them through, and it's a repetition of those that have brought me to this point with them. If you feel that uh, uh, this work is a little advanced for you, that you don't know some of the points of, of uh, basic movement of cattle. Uh, if you go on the internet under uh, cattle handling or cattle gentling, you'll find more material than you could possibly get to. So take a look there and I will be giving you some suggestions uh, in the uh, bibliography or the suggestive, uh, suggested reading uh, at the end uh, with the credits. Uh, I hope that this has uh, been enjoyable for you to watch and that you've gotten some ideas that might be helpful to you with your cattle. Good luck and um, please be in touch if you have 
any questions that uh, I can answer for you. Thank you for watching.